Hi, I'm Caitlin and welcome to the Lit Review. Today is our page one unboxing for August. Uh, this has been a really consistent service. This is my second month doing page one. I still haven't had a chance to read my July pick, so that's on me, but it is on kind of like the top of my radar pile, so to speak. Uh, I'm trying to maybe squeeze it in at some point during one of the many readathons I'm doing, but I'm really excited to be able to unbox this again for you because I really was impre impressed by last month's pick. Independent bookstore that I believe is operated out of Evanston, Illinois. I said Chicago in my last video and I believe it's actually Evanston. Uh, but they offer this service and you can buy uh, the subscription in three month, six month, or a year bundles. I have the six month bundle but so far I am really loving the picks that they've had or at least the one pick that I've gotten and let's see what they picked for me this August. Uh, so there's usually like one little bookish gift, uh, the book itself, and then uh, a card or two explaining their awesome service, as well as a little bookmark. So here's the bookmark. Uh, you can just see it's like really straightforward. It has the page one logo on it. And then um, here is the little card for the box. Uh, and it comes always on the back. There's the reminder. If you don't love your book or if you've already, you already own it, uh, you can contact the subscription service and they will replace it uh, at no cost and all they ask is that you pass on the other book to a good home. Uh, they believe in sharing the wealth and sharing the love of books. So uh, this month there's always like a quote on there. We have, we have popsicles on the cover. So the month of August had turned into a griddle where the days just lay there and sizzled, which is a line from Sue Monk Kids' The Secret Life of Bees. Uh, and then there's a little note here that says, nothing goes better with a sizzling day than a hot new book. Stay healthy and happy reading your literary matchmakers. So those are the little like paper, paper notes and goods that come with the subscription. And then uh, the like extra treat is this cute little set of pencils. Uh, and they all, they're all like unsharpened, uh, which is a tad unfortunate, uh, but it says things, I think the first is, I love books and then I suspect even though I'm not fluent in all of these languages, uh, the ones I can read <laughs> all seem to say I love books in other languages. So I think we have uh, Latin, German, French, and Spanish. So that's really cool. So page one as a book subscription service, first of all, they gift wrap uh, in this like cute little plain brown paper and the ribbon makes it feel extra fancy. Uh, but they do ask you a series of questions about your reading preferences and you can do things like list your Goodreads uh, owned TBR and, and wish list on there as well so that they can really try to make the best personalized choices for you. You can also do things like specify that you prefer paperbacks, which is what I did and I can feel by like the flexibility of this book that they have continued to listen to that. I did say that I am okay with hardbacks if it's a really special or really unique cover, uh, but that I just tend to prefer paperbacks. So let's unwrap this thing. Oh, okay. So, um, the book that I received is Hey Ladies, uh, The Story of Eight Best Friends One Year and Way, Way Too Many Emails by Michelle Markowitz and Caroline Moss. So, I already own this book. Um, so I will have to see what the service entails. And you know what? I might even pause this video and not publish it until I get the response to that. So we'll see how that goes. But, uh, this is like a really, a really cute little, uh, book. It's been on my TBR for a while, so I you know, regret that I haven't actually read it. It's a large group of like late 20s, early 30s friends. Uh, and so this is all through like email chains, text exchanges. So it's a really, it's a style that I really love. So I think this is actually a great pick for me and a really specialized pick for me. Uh, it's just unfortunate that I do already own it. So I will be reaching out and letting them know that, you know, hey, you did such a good job that I already own this book. Uh, and we'll see, we'll see what happens. But for now, this is what I know. I still think this shows that they are uh, really getting a good grasp of who I am as a reader though. So, you know, I'm not, I'm not mad at this. Hello friends. It has been a couple of weeks since I have chatted with you about my page one subscription. Uh, if you recall, which of course you do, cause it's all in the same video. They had originally sent me Hey Ladies uh, by Michelle Markowitz and Caroline Moss, uh, which I already own. So this book will be going in uh, the no box in my wrap up through no fault of its own. I still really would like to read this. 
uh, but it is an unread book in my collection. And I would say that when I reached out to them via email, it took them about three or four days to respond, in part because they're, again, a small business and they get swamped, and especially they've grown a lot uh, in the wake of a lot of folks switching over from Book of the Month, um, like I did. <laughs> uh, so they did, once they uh, responded to my email, they got the shipping label out right away, but because of things like delays in the postal service that we're experiencing here in the US. So I do not blame page one as a subscription box uh, for the delay in this. It is August 28th. Uh, so I have, the, the original book came to me very early in the month and it's taken a couple of weeks for the replacement book. And the replacement book just kind of comes in one of these basic envelopes because they're not gonna like resend the whole box, but still gonna unbox this with you. Um, and I've already decided if by accident there's a second duplicate book, I'm not gonna keep pushing on this. It's already so generous and wonderful that they do this as a subscription box when that is totally unnecessary. And just like usual, it's gonna come wrapped so that you still get that special gift wrapped experience. That's really nice to see. This does feel like another paperback, so I'm super glad that that is still something uh, that they're, they're giving me and listening to me. Okay, I have never heard of this book before, which is super exciting. It is uh, Season of Storms by Susanna Kearsley. Oh my gosh, I'm just gonna read the back cover to you uh, because this just sounds really interesting and, and complex. Uh, and again, even though I, this book has never been on my radar, I already just from the description alone feel like this was a really good pick for me. Uh, this freaking subscription box, y'all, is so good if you are able to get this like I this is my second month and I just highly recommend this process anyway um a mystery trapped in time in 1921 infamous Italian poet uh Galeazzo di Escanio unsure of pronunciation this is my best attempt uh wrote his last and greatest play inspired by his muse and mistress actress Celia Sands on the eve of opening night, Celia vanished, and the play was never performed. Now, two generations later, Alessandro Di Escanio uh, plans to stage his grandfather's masterpiece and has offered the lead to a promising young English actress, also named Celia Sands, at the whim of her actress mother, or so she has always thought. Dun dun dun. Uh, when Celia arrives at Di Escanio's magnificent isolated Italian, Italian villa, she is drawn to the mystery of her namesake's disappearance and to the compelling enigmatic, enigmatic Alessandro. But the closer Celia gets to learning the first Celia's fate, the more she is drawn into a web of murder, passion, and the obsession of genius. Though she knows she should let go of the past in the dark, in her dreams, it comes back. Would never in a million years have picked this for myself, but this feels like such a me book at the same time, like that historical fiction, potential for like, not quite time travel, but like maybe some reincarnation, I'm not sure. It sounds really cool. It's uh, like a medium to, to thicker sized book. Uh, and I've never heard of this author before. Have any of you heard of this author or read this book? Let me know down in the comments below. Uh, so I'm very happy with this as a replacement book. And like I mentioned, uh, my original first pick will either be donated or perhaps sent out to a like little lending library. Uh, and I am just very, very excited to dive in to my, my secondary pick, my, my backup pick here. Wow. What an adventure. Uh, so that's my read on the August page one subscription box. Thank you for spending the time with me. I hope you are having a fantastic reading day. Like and subscribe if you'd like to see more of me or this channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!